I found these three unfinished crosses at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take my Wise Owl Black and the Chalk Synthesis with a foam brush and I'm going to paint all three in the black. You're going to want to make sure that you get all angles because this is going to be something that you're going to see from the front and the back. And then I allowed those three to dry. I found this raw sliced piece of wood at the Dollar Tree along with this block and I'm going to glue the block in the center of the wood. Then I'm going to glue the one cross to the right, one cross to the left. I'm going to glue a Jenga block on top of the block and then glue the third cross on top of the Jenga block. I found this greenery from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to sift it through so it's kind of split in half and you're going to see fullness in the front and the back. And then I'm going to use my Bosch stapler to staple down the greenery and then clip off the stem. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then I want to fill in this space in the back. And I laid the next greenery across the back. I found this blessed plaque also from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to glue this to the block. Kind of reminded me of the stone that was rolled away. I don't know if you guys see it, but that's what I saw. And now I am going to just fill in with little pieces of this boxwood type spray. And you just want to kind of fill in any part of the base that you can see that doesn't look nice. So you're going to want to cover that block in the back. I had this left over from Christmas. It's just a great vine wreath. I cut it and what I want to do is create a smaller circle. I used some floral wire and just tied it down in a smaller circle so that this could fit on the top of my center cross. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chocolateoffancy.com. Thanks.